Obviously, we have a really big game coming up, and uh, we're going to have a sold-out crowd. We're very, very excited about it. 45,971 souls are going to fill the Sun Bowl. We're very, very uh, jazzed about it. Our football coach and the football staff have done a remarkable job of building this program back to the place where it's at, where it's competitive, and, uh, and people want to come watch our football team. Jim Center calling it, saying he hopes there will be a sellout at the Sun Bowl Saturday when UTEP hosts North Texas. As of today, there's still about 5,000 tickets left. The Miners want every fan to wear orange on Saturday to orange out the stadium. Be sure to arrive early as well. There's going to be a lot more traffic than we've become accustomed to at UTEP football games. That's, of course, coming off the best season in seven years that featured a trip to the New Mexico Bowl. The Miners enter year five under Dana Dimmel with expectations through the roof, thus the high number of ticket sales for Saturday. Saturday's open reverse the mean green for the first time in years. People truly believe the miners are capable of putting a top notch product on the field. Perhaps most importantly, UTEP believes it themselves. The miners steamrolled their way to a six and one start a season ago, eventually finishing seven and six. But the confidence they gained in their trip to the New Mexico Bowl has washed over into the se this, uh, new season. This is a team that no longer hopes to win, they expect to win. And if they have it their way, they'll be competing for a Conference USA championship. Our expectations are to win every football game, but we're only going to win them one at a time. And so we have to be ultimately prepared, and that was the challenge today. You know, we're not going to just show up. It's Monday, and we still got a lot of good work to do yet this week, so that's the message that we're sending to the team. We learned how to win last year, so just trying to, you know, pick up where we left off and continue that into this year. You know, so the preparation has really been, really been great this year. Right now, I think for us, it's a conference championship or a bust. You know, I think that's what, that's what the whole team wants. I think that's what we're locked in on. So that's how we've been thinking about, and that's, how we're, that's what we're going for. A lot of confidence there from Ray Flood as the Miners host North Texas, 7 p.m. Saturday. It's a huge opener. UTEP needs a win in this one because they go on the road to play Oklahoma in week two. You can't start the year 0-2 if they want to achieve their lofty goals. One final note here, linebacker Breon Hayward is listed as a starter on the UTEP depth chart. However, Dana Dimmel would not say whether or not he's gotten his waiver from the NCAA, so perhaps a little bit of gamesmanship there from Coach Dimmel. We'll see on Saturday if the Miners' leading tackler from a year ago is on the field.